All right, y'all, the last showcase build for this weekly, we're going to show off a little Beluga action. This guy might be one of my favorite in this specific team comp. It pairs so well when you're running some sort of snake bear combo. And then obviously you throw in a turkey, you make the Beluga eat a slug or something, and you just get a whole bunch of shots off. It's great. It's a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy. I mean, this is looking pretty, pretty nasty right here. This is a... Uh... <laughs> Don't mind if I do kind of thing, you know? Roll me. Looking pretty good. Alright, so now we can combine here. See what tier 3's we get. I've been wanting to do a Deer Lord thing, but Anteater is so strong with this build. We already have all these horses, you know? I think it's safer to do this. I'm not discounting Deer Lord, maybe we'll pivot, you know, but right now this is definitely the play. Sell the Marm, get a Beluga out here. And another Beluga? Dude. Beluga Sturgeon, I should specify, not the whale. Dude, this team, this team's feeling kind of cracked right now. Loki, oh, baby. All right, switch you here. Let's refresh these temporary attacks while we're at it. And I think we're just, we're gonna hold it like this, right? No need to combine yet. I'd rather get a tier 4. And then... Oh yeah, dude. We're gonna be in a great spot. Just wait until we pivot into a turkey. <laughs> Not here, of course, because we can't. But soon, maybe. Throw you in. Beluga Sturgeon's kind of tempting. Maybe we full send it. Roll me. Just throw some salad in there. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're doing it. This is looking nice. Roll me. We might be getting rid of the beetle here. That's definitely the next one to go. Mm. See if we can pivot. Wyvern, maybe. We'll do two more rolls. Another Wyvern. And a horse. And we're a little late on the horse. I guess it's probably still worth it. Just because we have that many summons, right? Alright, so we'll combine here. Throw you in definitely a slug angle, without a doubt. We're getting some very solid summon synergies right now. Yeah, Deer Lord, not gonna cut it. I wish it was a Deer Lord angle, but it's not. And we gotta be straight up with it. And do we even care? <laughs> I guess we care that we didn't win, but we don't even need the horse. Kind of. Roll me. Level. What do we get? Beluga's huge. We get rid of though. Wyvern probably. Yeah, yeah. Beluga. And I think we level. We can level the horse probably. Hmm. Don't love it. So in retrospect, if I thought the whole turnout. Early enough. Oh, that's a lot of campies. 
Um, I would have leveled with the chocolate before selling the wyvern, but you know. I, I didn't quite get to that point in the turn. I didn't know we'd have exactly three gold remaining. But that's fine. Roll me. Thank you. Looking for a slug for our beluga. Okay, that's pretty big. Maybe a mammoth would be fine in the interim. Um, maybe. We'll, we'll think about it. Anteater's solid, of course. We need a turkey. That's what we need right now. Turkey would go hard here. And we're drawing. Not bad, not bad. Level you. So maybe it's time to ditch the beluga sturgeon. As much as we all hate to see him go. So if we sell the oyster, we'll be at six gold. I think I'll just go... Like, is it worth just giving you food just to have a summon? Or would we rather wait for the right summon? Probably the latter. Um, and I honestly don't care that much about the Yeti. I'm now realizing. That's pretty okay for now. Roll me one more time. We're gonna like this. We're gonna get a little gold. You know, he's gonna summon as a level two, so it's guaranteed two gold. Maybe that's good enough, you know? Who's to say? <laughs> we'll find out shortly. Oh, I like the, the Worm of Sand vibes going. gonna quite get there. We had a turkey, maybe. There he is. That's my boy. That's what we're talking about. Okay. We go here. Probably ditch the horse as soon as we find someone better. And let's roll. See what we can find. Lovely. Okay. Is it a snake angle, I wonder? It's possible. Five friendly attacks, you deal 12 damage. This would be 25 damage if it was five in a row. Your snake is better than bear? Surely that can't be the case. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Summons are going hard. Love it. Um, I think we get rid of this, the the anteater. I was gonna say slug, but slug works very well with snake. And I think we roll here. Now we have to ask ourselves: Do we want a slug in the beluga? and put the snake behind the beluga. Maybe. Roll me. I'm just very greedy, so I want the the silver fox gold too. And I think there's something to that, you know? You could also pill to get a level 3. That's interesting. Um. You know what? Throw you in here. I don't know what we want to do quite yet. But we have enough hearts that I think we can wait. See, this is what I'm talking about. That was six gold we wouldn't otherwise have. Just throwing it out there. And we didn't even lose. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Oh, or we could go Orca. I actually don't think Orca's that good, to be honest. Okay. So you're guaranteed 
at least four hits if you're eating a slug. So I'm thinking for that reason alone, what if we go th bear here? You know, hold on, roll me here. I mean, orca maybe. There's a turkey. It did you. Come on. You can do it. Roll me. Buy, sell an oyster, of course. That's what you should always do. Throw a mushroom on an orca. Roll me. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... We're gonna run a bear. It feels weird. It might be weird. But this is... I think this is how we should do it. We're gonna go pancakes on our beluga. Next turn. <laughs> I promise I'm not stalling, kind of. Um, but we can get a level three next turn on our beluga. Dude, how are we not losing, by the way? We haven't even pivoted to our final form. It's kind of crazy. Roll me. Honestly, let's do this. I'd love to. I really would. We put an orca in there instead of a slug. <laughs> the odds of it... I don't know if it's, like, on average going to equal a slug or not. I don't know how that works. Is that better? Maybe it is. No. No. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be what I think is smart. <laughs> Notice I specified. I'm not guaranteeing that this is the correct play, but I think this is my correct play in my brain. Nice, good snipes. Love it. Oh dude, we're cooking. <laughs> we are so cooking. Okay, let me know if you agree with that play. Like, should we have put the orca in here and m had the potential for another high roll? Or is it better just to go slug? Guarantee the 20 damage off the snake. I don't even know if the snake was that good. He's level one. Maybe the snake is unnecessary in this case. Just sell him and put a slug there. I don't know. Definitely room for argument there. The OG triple fish squad. Um, will be some undercover smartphones. All right. A draw is as good as it gets early on. Let's be real, we're not trying to win. That'd be silly. All we're trying to do is live long enough to have a good time. <laughs> this is a good trade, I like it. This is not a good trade. Dude, I'm telling you, this freaking... These chinchillas are screwing me up out here. I'm not here for it. Throwing a jelly. Throw you in one more, another jelly. What if we like straddle jellies? Combine here. You know, just for now. Just for the time being. Throw in a wyvern. This team is pretty strong, actually. Like Loki, we're kind of cooking. Oh, baby. Into a level. Thank you, thank you. What do we got? Just doing like another wyvern kind of vibe? Sure. Or do we sell fish and go cappy? 
I don't really like Cappy that much here. Not going for like a level 3 seahorse. So here's what we could do. We could throw rice onto you. Looking for, you know, just save 2 gold. Or we could roll and try to find some more duplicates. Which really it's just the jelly we're looking at. But maybe that's worth it. Yeah, I kind of like that. You ever go in swans here? I think it's too late for swan. It is just a bit too late for our boy, Mr. Swan. Okay, so now... Start me here, what do we get? We got a few different build archetypes we could build toward here. We got Bicells, we got some Garial toys, we got Slug. Slug is probably the safest, I would think. And then let's roll. Yeah, I'd run a puppy here, for sure. Get a little oven mitts going. Ooh, hello. Maybe a level two oven mitts with a flying squirrel. That's just like decent scaling in itself. Oh, that was close. That was a close one. Um, I think we do wait for the oven mitts before we throw puppy in. Or do we? I actually don't know if we do. We'll skip it. If we if it comes down to it, we'll throw the puppy in. Oh, I like flying squirrel. Okay. Level me. Lug Garial Hawk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think Hawk is good here. Which means we can leave the, the lasagna to cook. Okay. I don't know if I love this, but I like it enough where I think we're in a good spot. Nipes, nice. Oh, dude. He's got to be mad after that one. When the 910 kills off two 99s, that's a tough one. Okay, we go here. Get another oven mitt. Now, are we going flying squirrel? Yay or nay? This is the time to decide. We could go alpaca, guarantee the level two. That might not be bad. We'd have to get rid of our slug though. Otherwise we go turkey with the slug, ignore the flying squirrel. Either way, you're gone. I think the summons have something there. But I don't want to discount our flying squirrel yet. Maybe we ditch the hawk. Throw you guys in the mix. And we can just look for a natural flying squirrel. It's always an option. We just gotta get level 2 before the toy breaks. That's our big key here. I don't think I agree with that one. I don't think chocolate cake is worth it there. When it just nukes your guy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on to you. In case we need it. Or maybe we just full send. Ignore Wyvern. Two extra shop rewards though. That's hard to say no to. Okay. We sell jelly, buy, sell, go here. Not great. Let's see, if we buy, sell, we need five gold, so we can roll one more time. Didn't find it. I think this is fine. We're playing the long game. We have five hearts to spare. Let's keep you. I don't like these guys that much. Well, actually, if you look at this, the raw stats, these guys are definitely better than what we have right now. That's one of the things I don't keep in mind enough, I don't think. 
is like how good is your team currently when you're looking at potential options like our team sucks really bad right now but like a Nurikabe even though he's just a, gonna be a whatever health guy he's actually pretty good we also get the lasagna on him so that's that helps a little bit okay so I think now we get rid of the wyvern we can throw in a clownfish. Help out a little with some more scaling. And then we do this. Hold on to the chocolate. For later. See, now I feel like we're in a good spot. Like, we're actually doing pretty well here. There he is. And another one, and now I think we go, we try to get the turkey cooking. Bro is tempting, definitely. It's not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Love it. Nurikabe's doing work for us right now. I'll tell you that much. Okay. How do we want to do this? So start here. No. Start here. To clear up room in the shop. And then we go here. It could definitely be a bear angle. Let's see. You give two, two. So we want to put you here. Oh, it's definitely a bear angle. Okay. So we're going to take this, since we have five gold, we can't buy both bears right now. Let's pre-stock a little, little chocolate in the shop. We'll run it like this. So now we're in a pretty good spot, I would say. I think we, we have a solid foundation with the Nurikabe. He's going to get a ton of attacks off, in theory. And that will give our, our bear a lot of a lot of ways to do damage, if you will. And then of course we're gonna level you up here. Cause that's just fantastic. Um we could keep the oyster. I wanna keep the flying squirrel. In case we lose a few, just get the oven mitts again next turn and then we'll get rid of him. Well, that's great. Throw a mushroom on you. Seems really solid. Yeah, I like where we're at here. This is just like textbook solid team right now. I'm here for it. Oh, our bear got to him first. <laughs> that's fantastic. Okay. So we're probably going to win before this next oven mitts actually triggers, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I think we're going to go I sell you, freeze you, and then we're going to roll one time. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> we're going to roll another time. Okay. So now I think we just lay these guys down and we look for a slug for our beluga and then we're good. We're probably just going to be done here. I would imagine this team is incredibly strong. I don't know though actually this guy's kind of thick too. This guy's got a huge food team cooking. Okay. I actually... I don't know if it would have made the difference, but the turkey needs to be in front. That was my mistake. Alright. Start me here. We got another bear. Roll me. Hmm. That sucks. Roll me. Let's just try to find a slug for the beluga. We'll hold on to the mushroom for when we do. We could try a Nurikabe here. 
Feels a little late, to be honest. I think we say no thank you. Thanks but no thanks kind of vibe. His Nurikabe is huge. Man, if we had the one more homie in this this beluga, boy, we'd be cooking. Okay, hold on to you. No, not interested. There he is. Alright, so we're gonna go here. Um, so the beluga actually, I guess the mushroom doesn't matter that much for a beluga. Let's see, so let's count this out, make sure we're getting the most of our grizzly. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, that's kind of a, an icky number. <laughs> Uh, the mushroom doesn't tip it over the edge there. So let's go... In that case, let's do this. And then we'll just use the turkey on the grizzly mushroom, just in case. I think that's probably our best bet in this case. Our Nurikabe is not holding up right here. Grizzly is not holding his weight either. Oh, okay, we're drawing. Alright, Nurigabe desperately needs something here. See if we can get him cooking up. Or we just ditch him. You know, maybe we find a slug and ditch the Nurikabe. Or maybe... We go snake, because he's getting one shot, right? He's not doing anything. We go snake behind you. That's going to be the most triggers. And our slug doesn't work. Go snake here. Yeah, 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 yeah. this is how we do it. And just, are you on, I guess? Oh. <laughs> As long as this guy doesn't get sniped, I like this better than Nurikabe. Okay, no snipes. This is just let both teams go at it, see who's better. I don't think we're gonna be better. <laughs> These guys are huge. Dude, another draw? What the heck? Alright. We're stalling really hard, and it's a little scary. Give you a mushroom. Just in case we get a snipe out here. I mean, just keep running it. Try to... Try to get as much as we can out of these. This is, this is the issue. We're getting... We're getting to ultra late game where everyone's gonna be 50-50 here in a second. Maybe we got enough here? I don't know. Oh man, that was... That did not feel like we were gonna make it across the finish line. We got, we were cooking this hard up here and then 10 wins and we're like, it's like, you know, you picture those marathon runners at the end of the race and they're just completely dead and just like collapsed right before the finish line. That's how this game felt. I think we got to nine wins on turn like 13 and we were just stalling out really hard, but we got there. We got there, we got this makeshift goofy summon build working. You gotta love it. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.